Fora TV. The world is thinking. Think of the financial historical process as being the opposite of the Citigroup model. Think of finance as being like the world of natural history. Think of those books of dinosaurs that you once read or gave your children and see if there might just be a useful analogy in the financial world. The evolutionary analogy for the scientists in the audience is a lot better than you might think. There's clearly competition for finite resources in the financial world, just as there is in the natural world. There's very clearly a potential for spontaneous mutation, though generally speaking, people like to call it innovation uh, in the economic world. There's very obviously a mechanism for natural selection. We've seen it in action in this crisis. The market allocation of resources means that there is a possibility of death, of failure. And there is, as the biologists say, differential survival. That's most obvious right now uh, in the world of hedge funds. There's scope for speciation. New kinds of institution get formed. And as a result, there is in fact sustained biodiversity. Not all roads lead to Citigroup. There's even scope for species to go extinct. That's why I made my joke earlier about investment banks. Who would have predicted a year ago that investment banks, the masters of the Wall Street universe, would cease to exist as a species by the end of 2008? And yet it happened. What about genes? Genes, the things that interest evolutionary biologists the most today, the thing that they study with most intensity. Is there any parallel there? Well, I think there is, and here I'd like to borrow Richard Dawkins' idea of a meme, something which behaves like a gene even though it's just a human idea. It's an idea that replicates itself. In the financial world, the memes that matter are the ways of doing things, the business practices that can be passed on, not just from generation to generation, as in the biological world, but actually from employer to employee, from partner to partner. Ways of doing business are not standardized. And one of the fascinating things about the City of London, and this is of course where we are, is the diversity of business methods that exists here today. There's competition, but there's not always convergence.